Morning and welcome to the local derby, Sunbury versus East Molsey. This is a much anticipated game. No love lost between these two teams with the Moles fielding the two Sunbury rejects, Westvolt and Stevens. I'm David Nash and I'm joined by Johnny Maunders. Hold up, Nashy. Let me just finish my bacon sandwich. <laughs> East Molsey won the toss in what looked ideal batting conditions. Skipper Reed came out full of intent, as you just seen, nicked off early to Smith, having played one too many shots. Caught behind by our ever reliable wicketkeeper batsman, Connor, aka Souths Fulton. This brought him at Singh to the crease. Very talented batsman from India. Was troubled early by Smith with a good short ball and a couple of good balls outside off stump, which he nicked down to third man. However, Harper wasn't at his usual best for whatever reason and bowled a couple of half trackers which is very unlike him and was put to the boundary and a few boundaries begin to flow. Chop boy. Campiano looked organised at the crease before he slapped one to point well caught by Rajan, the former Prince Sony. Campiano looked very reluctant to leave. This brought in the much vaunted Cole Campbell. Rates himself Cole Campbell. Um, some of the lads said if, uh, say if he's made a chocolate he'd eat himself. Checking his stats up, Maunders, though. Stats aren't as good as he probably thinks he is. 20.15 he averages career. Um, but to be fair to the lad, play some great shots. Um, as we can see here. Um, Harps running into bowl again to Campbell. Oof, not one of your best there, Harpsy boy. Nicely tucked off his legs by Campbell, though. Taking the score to 52 for two in the ninth. Good start from the East Molesy lads. Another top shot there. Player this thing, more than as he can play. Very good player, looked very organised. Like I said, was troubled by Smith early. But played some sumptuous strokes along the way. Smithy running in hard, looks fit. Smithy's definitely led from the front this year. He goes at whip, doesn't he, Sing? I think we've got to rethink our plans for when we take the moles and back at their place. Bergy coming in here, got a bit of a bit of a round one on the on the back of his lid there. Make sure you had the sun cream applied, Bergy. Anyway, Singh and Campbell were going at some rate. Singh playing some sumptuous strokes through the covers, piercing gap between Maunders and Burgess extra cover. The introduction of Burgess and Mamro was key. The spin duo bowled 20 overs and went for 55 runs. Cole Campbell was bogged down by some good field setting from Smith, some good bowling from both the spinners. Southgate, young Southgate looks a good player, I know he runs the cricket at East Molesy there but someone we're definitely looking at, I know he lives in Sunbury so I think he's someone on our, our radar to come and bolster our middle order batting next season. Singh was caught by the captain at short mid-wicket, having himself set a very good field, forcing Singh to play squarer than he really wanted to. This was Ooh. quickly followed by Burgess bowling Southgate round his leg. Now Southgate, clearly a good player, uh, experiencing one of those uh, run droughts that every batter experiences. Hopefully he'll be backed, and one would think he'll be backed by his club. Nicky Stevens there, nicking one off, ex Sunbury boy, great glove man. Um, shorter runs though, as we as we know, always struggled a little bit with the bat, but top glove man and a lovely boy. Westy, another Sunbury boy there coming to the wicket, Mondini. Yes, uh, Tig was uh, nicked off again, caught by Smith, uh, caught by Fulton off the bowling of Sm the returning Smith. Uh, this brought Westfeld to the crease, like Nashi said, an ex-Sunbury boy. 
him and Burge, two experienced uh, campaigners, put on uh, a good partnership. I think they put on 90 um, between them. Knocked it around beautifully. I thought they, they played really, really well. Good hands, Burge, um, hard hitting West Pole. I thought they, you know, for Burge, for someone who's not, not known for his pace between the wickets, he does love Hernandez Halloumi, to be fair to him. I thought it played very well, Mondini. He did indeed, he got 63, um, which we'll come to in a moment. Uh, oh, shot, shot, Burgey. That was actually a slower ball, how that's gone over Fulton. You could tell Smith was absolutely disgusted. <clears throat> Burge compiled a nice 50 off 77 balls, including a beautiful dab sweep off Smith. Class that. 204 for 7 in the 46. Burgey on 59, in comes Smith. Good strike. Played well. These lads really, really played well. Tough team to beat East Molesy. They always get over the line. That's, you know, they, they back themselves. And 2-2-1 uh, two, two, for 7 in the 48. Burgi over extra and that's out. Played brilliantly, Sammy Burge, 63. Caught by the Mond Mondini. Don't, don't drop many, you pal. Could have dropped that one. I was into the sun. <clears throat> Did panic. Uh, Smith then followed next very next ball. Westfell attempting uh, a sweep, a bit like Burge did earlier, and they lost two in two. And this is Gar Fawcett slogging one up in the air. Um, bit of a waste with three or four balls to go, um, but the innings finishing at 229 of 49.3 overs. Um, a little bit below par considering where they were at one stage been 100 for two off about 15 and really impressive fight back from Sunbury who despite a couple of drop catches were excellent in the field and showed great character and commitment uh, to contain East Molesy to 229. Burgess and Smith the standout performers with figures of 4 for 24 and 5 for 57 respectively. Sunbury openers Sam Burgess and John Maunders set out on their quest to chase 230 runs against an experienced East Molesy attack who are renowned for defending such scores and lower. Reedy in here to the boy Burgess. Oh, what a shot. Clip like toenail, that. Sam Burgess was particularly harsh on the East Molesy bowlers, including a monst monstrous six off Reed. Oh, shot boy. Which was close to landing in the great Frank Sharman's garden. Frank Sharman, what a legend. Did so much for us at this cricket club. Uh, Frank, love you. Westfell came in and Burgess continued on his merry way in some quite breathtaking shots. Cool. Good to see Westy back at Sunbury though. Um, lovely boy, top, top cricketer. And uh, gutted to see him at the Moles, but oh, another, another great shot there. Westy, Westy straying down the leg side a little bit there. The ball was hit in the middle of Sam's back. Uh, another highlight coming up here of Maunders uh, <laughs> missing it. <laughs> Credited with four runs. It's always uh, handy when you're a bit out, of Nick. They all they all count, Mondini. Oh, Sam was awesome. That really is proper batting. Al, Al Sammy Burgess uh, hasn't gone on to um, higher honours yet. I really don't know. Surely there's there's some opportunity for him. What's it like batting with Burgess at the other end, Mondini? Mate, on this occasion, um, it was unbelievable ball striking. Uh, fortunate enough to bat with a few great opening batters but I can only compare it to uh, standing up the other end to uh, a Paul Sterling or a Verinda Sawag. It was truly breathtaking ball striking. H high praise indeed. Great little shot though from you through the offside there pal. Enjoyed that one. Yeah, had to hit the low fully for four. Oh, what is that? Is that in the gardens? Not quite. It was a bit flat the trajectory. Moles have bought in, uh, took pace off introducing him at Singh and Gar Fawcett. Burgess hit Fawcett for three boundaries in his first over. East Molesy at, by now were looking a bit stunned. The run rate was up. It's around an eight and over. 72 for none off nine. What a start. Great shot into out there over extra cover. Great hand. Unbelievable shot from Sam Burgess into our over extra from the crease. Maunders was first to depart with a mistimed, what can only be described as slog. 
Cool. To, be, to be fair though, mate, I know you're batting with a broken elbow and uh, that's going to be the last innings that you play for Sunbury. Um, that you've, you've decided to knock it on the head and uh, you've been an unbelievable servant for this club. You're a hero to us all. There's no better bloke, there's no better coach and there's no better role model. So uh, what a great career, it's been amazing and uh, I've cherished all, all the memories we've had together. Thanks Nashi, that means a lot. I've absolutely loved it. Sam Burgess was joined by Rajan Sony. Burgess continued on his way, however, was caught for a great 69 of 40 odd balls with nine fours and three very high class. Serious delivery that was from Singh, bowling yeah. young Colby. Colby, top cricketer, is going to be absolutely brilliant. He's going to be, uh, he's going to be one of the good ones. Put Alex Hughes to the crease. Um, Alex, very, very good ball striker. Uh, this just shows the confidence of him. Uh, lofting the seamer over his head uh, whilst on one. Oh, good ball from Tig there. Uh, yeah, probably could have covered up a bit better, Rajan, but been in fine form this season. But that was a that was a good good nut. This is what East Molesy do. They take pace off, and as I said at the beginning, they're renowned for defending such totals. They've got an experienced lineup. However, on this day, they were matched by Hughes and Fulton. Showed great maturity, great skill along the way as well. Show great grit and toughness, contrary to what's been said by a few East Molesy players uh, over the over the last season. Um, <clears throat> it was a great performance by these two middle order batters. Uh, qualities that were evident in 2015 when the first 11 recorded back to back league titles, which is uh, the true measure of a team and something no doubt East Molesy will be looking to emulate one day. Yeah, it was uh, it was told. Burgie said to me we had a good chat with him early season what he felt at Sunbury and he felt the Moles felt we had a bit of a soft underbelly and. Uh, Hopefully this has gone to prove that we're, uh, we've toughened up a bit and we're, we're coming for him. Alex Hughes departed uh, with still 30 odd runs needed for a very mature 42 of 76 deliveries. This brought in Chris Boomgartner. Boom! What a shot from the Boomgartner. Once Boomgartner put the late cut uh, back in the bag, he Boom! decided to do what he does best and that's go downtown. He's already become uh, a club favourite amongst uh, a lot of the senior players, uh, the under-11 uh, team and a few of the ladies at the club as well. What a win by the Sunbury boys. Great performance against a strong East Molesy outfit. Um, massive, massive season for us. Um, we're a great club. We're a, we're, a, we're a really, really strong first team. There's lots of these youngsters coming up the club that want to aspire to be the, the greats of the club like yourself, your Richard Johnsons, your Ollie Rowland, jo your Ollie Rowland Jones, your Toby Rowland Joneses, etc. Lads, you've got to keep working really, really hard. If, if you work harder than anyone else, you will live out your dreams. You really will. And somebody's a great club that brings up amazing human beings and amazing people. And that, that means more, more to the club and us than, than absolutely anything. East Moles, you've been absolutely brilliant the last few years. I know we I spoke to Burgi early, se early season because we want to we want to really start actually pushing you guys and making it difficult for you to win the league because we should be up the top there. Um, what you've done has been really great and well done to you on that. Um, and uh, I look forward to coming over to East Molesy at the um, back end of the season where no doubt we'll be hopefully fighting for the title. And uh, we'll look forward to doing the double over you, Burgie, and uh, your bowl, your moles over there. And, uh, and I look forward to um, having a beer after and celebrating this great game that we all love. And uh, it's great to have banter. It's great to have fun. Um, but let's all do it in the right spirit. Um, we love our game. And, uh, and you know what? Um, we're all blessed and proud to be involved with, with our two great clubs, Sunbury and East Molesy. It's a fine, fine rivalry. And uh, we're very proud to be involved in it. Indeed, Nashi, and I'll just add, despite what it sometimes may look, there is huge respect from Sunbury to East Molesley, and I'd like to think vice versa as well. This was a very, very good game of cricket with some high-quality skills on show, and um, it so happened it, it fell Sunbury's way this time, um, and it was really a good game. Uh, Sunbury ended up winning with 15 balls to spare, and um, there were some there's celebrations, and the song was sung loud, and there were some many beers to be had, and Boom Gardner even got his pants pulled down. We love you, Boomers. We love you, Sunbury. We love you, East Molesy. Have a great weekend, all.